Hey, how's it going guys? Ancient Rain here with a Diablo 4 leveling guide for Necromancer. This build is mainly built around Corpse Explosion because I just really like it. And then we use Bloodlands because it's really strong and ICUs. But for the beginning, I'll go over the survivability and um, damage options you can go. It just depends on how your gear is, how your damage, and how your survivability is, and how smart you play. Now, at this level, I'm not level 50 yet. I'm at level 43, but it still feels very good. And honestly, right now, I'm just going to be going into min-maxing damage and survivability to where I can give you pretty much how the build is going to go. Once I get to like end game and max level and everything i'll probably have a build video on this but i have to get the gear and stuff first and i'm still in campaign now first i go hemorrhage this is for the survivability i don't care about much of the damage because i have other stuff doing that at first i started with bone splinters because it just did good damage um and then you can end up getting vulnerable which is insane i think like vulnerable damage is a pure molt or something which is really really nice i don't know the exact damage formula but that's what i've been told but here we have this just purely for the blood orbs blood orbs help our survivability where we're normally tanky you can also go decompose for spawning corpses for corpse explosion uh, enemy dies while being decomposed you gain more essence which is really nice and then this, I don't know where this is in the formula. Like when I make my build video, I'll be more precise on the formula or if there is something out there, but I just saw increased damage. I thought, hey, this is hopefully good. And I didn't really exactly feel a difference, but it didn't feel bad. So I really liked using this later on, but when I wanted to do damage early on, I went bone splinters and then I went to decompose and I'm at hemorrhage. This is for survivability. Um, we go this just because the survivability more for um, fortify. It attack speed, I guess, could be nice for uh, getting essence, but I really need survivability, so that's why I went. T I guess attack speed will help survivability with more attack, me more blood orbs. I guess I'll just have to mess with that more. And then here, I went Bone Spear for a while because it feels really nice. And you can also here get Vulnerable, which is, again, really nice. But I ended up going Blood Lance. One, because it felt strong. Um, there's an Aspect. I don't remember where you can look at Aspects. I think maybe here. Yeah. Let's find it. This looks nice. Bloodlance aspect deal, 15% increased damage to primary target per lance enemy. That's another reason I went that, but it's also just really strong. Um, and then here we have Pierce's three, which is really nice. And then here I went this for the blood orb, not really the overpower, just for the blood orb for better survivability. This also feels nice. Um, I need more testing to feel if there's a big difference, but. I really need survivability later on in the game, and this is pretty much helpful where if I'm playing dumb, then here we go. Huge Flesh is really nice just for spawning corpses, especially during bosses as this is doubled. Um, then we have, this is for corpse explosion, so we can spawn more corpses, and then also just more summons of our minions. Let's see where I, then we have Corpse Explosion. Um, Want to max this out because this is for damage, same as this. This is for damage, so we max it out. No real order of when I max it out, it just kind of depended. Um, we just go this because it's still nice. Increased radius is always good. And then, I haven't messed with this darkness skill, but I haven't wanted to. But this is um, seems really nice as it stacks these bonuses. And I think we slow, stun, and vulnerable. So this should be 24% increased damage. And then whenever we consume records, we gain essence, which is really nice for us spamming. Blood Lance more. And then we have Fueled by Death, which I didn't really take to more later on. 
but it's nice for increased damage. Um, I don't think this stacks. I think it's just 9%. And then we go to Craftify. Um, really, you just have to worry about one point first, and then just later on increase this. It just increases the slow and damage reduction, which honestly I'm still debating on because it doesn't seem the best, but I'll have to see later on. And then uh, Lucky Hit, we get to Craftify to stun enemies, which just helps with. Um, Plague Corp Explosion increase, and then also this stun. And then uh, decreased cooldowns, which I guess is mainly, I guess, just Corpse Tendril, which is still really nice. And we'll go to Corpse Tendril. I don't think we have anything else here. We don't. Then Corpse Tendril, we get them to just bring them all together and stun them, which means we get um, the bonus. Um, play corpse explosion maxing increasing this will help with um, the cooldown which is I take more than the damage because I don't focus this on damage as much enhance corpse tendrils slow those who are about to be pulled which is nice because then you get the uh, slowed here and then vulnerable right now this is the only place we have enemies vulnerable which sucks, but it's just kind of what we have right now. Um, you can get it from Bone Sphere or Bone Splinters. Of course, this isn't a one-to-one -one guide you have to follow. To, so these two could be options if you have really good survivability. But yeah, this is the only place we have vulnerable right now. And so it's really good to spam this. So the cooldown's nice. And then this should be decreasing cooldown as well. And so just vulnerable, just insanely good. And then we have this for survivability. When a corpse is formed from your skills or minions, fortify for 6% base life. Let's see. Um, this is just good because we have a lot of corpses. So we're constantly getting fortified. I have this for the blood or if you just gain more healing with below 50%. I haven't gone anything else because I'm focusing more on damage that's, or survivability and damage, but I might go into here. Transfusion seems nice, but I wasn't getting enough blood orbs to see for my minions to stay to get healed. I may have to go into something here. Where is it? These uh, mastery skills maybe increase the health there. That'll feel nice, but I'm not sure yet. Um, but then we don't go here because we don't go anything bone and we don't go anything darkness right now Sorry, and then I don't go anywhere. This um, will be your last look Okay, very good. And then uh, We this have these ultimate skills, but yes. I don't do anything And so I don't go ult any ultimates just because I haven't felt the need to want to use any of them yet, but that can change in the future. I like the I like decreptify gear. It um just cooldown stuns also slows them. This if anything, I probably change this one. Scorch potential is really nice because it does stun and then can vulnerable them. And it slows them, so I think if I was to change anything, I'd probably decreptify. But I'll just Look. have to see. And then this isn't too important right now. Like this attack speed's nice um, for my minions, which I'll show why later, but um, Shadow Fight's useless. I'm not using bone skills and I haven't found this to be useful, but I haven't tried it too much because this is a blood skull I'm not using for damage. So I'm not spamming this. It'll take up my chance to use it with Blood Lance. So I haven't been using this here. That's pretty much what I have for this. It kind of all meshes together besides like Bloodlance. It's damage and survivability, I guess. Um, everything past here is kind of more for Corpse Explosion. It felt really good and like the side skills really just depends on how your points are. And I highly suggest experimenting because that's how I found my damage to work out there. Then with our Book of the Dead, I end up going Reapers, of course, this will just depend on when you get down here. 
at first I had it as this um because it reduces cooldown of their attack but I really like this um for make corpse because it helps with corpse explosion it also helps spawn more reapers and what are they uh skeletal mages the cold skeletal mages spawning which is important because they have the good attacks and if you could spawn more reapers and you can get them to spawn more corpses and it's just repeated and then here i like to go the cold i haven't experimented too much with this um enemies who are frozen made vulnerable so this is actually another way that i do like just change to make enemies vulnerable which is really nice i can't tell how much it's been active but it seems like it's been working before i had it with this for essence gain i have noticed a little bit less essence gain but nothing to where i'm afraid of and then if you're wondering about like the um if this is gear dependent not really i've been changing my gear a bunch i really like this while not healthy a bubble spawns that's feel nice but i just kind of like gained it from gear and like nothing that's make or break um uh, this leveling guide isn't based around any gear and this could change if like something's found that's really good like a must have but i haven't found anything i've just been taking gear it's good i found vulnerable damage is really good so if you find vulnerable damage on gear that's definitely you'll want to take um yeah nothing really found look for aspects that seem good and just kind of go with that i have no idea how golems work so um uh or not um, uh, golems work i have no idea how these guys work someone let me know how golems work if i have to um get some sort of ability to use it or something please let me know because i have no clue i haven't googled it which is probably the smart thing to do but i have it so i have nothing to say about golems because i haven't had them used at all yeah, that's all i have to say really um thank you guys for watching the video i hope this found it's helpful if you have any questions let me know and i'll try and answer them i'm not really a diablo nerd but i'm trying to get into it i played diablo 3 a bit which i really liked and really like necromancer and corpse explosions so uh i'm a corpse explosion simp and so i will definitely be making a build for this as soon as possible but again thank you guys for watching this i hope this helps you and i will see you guys next time Peace.